Hello and welcome to this video. I am Karnesh Jauri and this video is about network traffic control using the TC command in Linux. TC stands for traffic control. Why control network traffic? The answer is QoS or quality of service as perceived by the users is important. Normally for any service, quality parameters are measured to assess the overall quality achieved. In computer networking, the range of applications is diverse. Some applications like video conferencing, online gaming, video streaming, audio and video calling are more demanding for network usage and real-time response as compared to applications like file transfer. So, quality of service in computer networking involves traffic prioritization and resource reservation for important applications on the network. TC command lets us do traffic control so that we can achieve good quality of service for applications. And we start with queues which are fundamental to traffic control. For each network interface, there are two queues, ingress for incoming packets and egress for outgoing packets. We have more control over the egress because these packets have been generated by the host, whereas packets in ingress have been received from other hosts. We cannot reorder packets in ingress. The maximum we can do is to drop some packets. If these were TCP packets, ACK would not be sent and the sending host would realize that we are not able to keep pace with the rate at which it is sending packets. So the sending host can send packets at a slower rate. If the packets drop while UDP packets, there would be no ACK and the sender would never know about the packets not reaching the destination process. In case of egress, we are in control. The queue length is the default transmit queue length measured in packets. If the queue that is egress becomes full, the extra packets are discarded and not transmitted. We can reorder packets in egress that is favoring some packets over others. The major activities in traffic control are shaping, scheduling, policing and dropping of packets. Traffic shipping or packet shipping involves delaying of lower priority traffic so that traffic for high priority applications can pass through unhindered. The goal is to keep the outgoing traffic below the bandwidth of the network link. The traffic is classified into different categories like high priority, medium priority and low priority. If the network traffic is below the configured rate, the traffic passes normally without any delay. As the network traffic increases over the configured rate, the lower priority traffic is held back in buffers for brief duration and higher priority traffic is allowed to pass and the quality of service for important applications is maintained. This way, shaping also smooths out burst in network traffic. Scheduling is deciding which packets would be transmitted next. A network scheduler manages the egress queue. It may rearrange packets in the queue and it may manage multiple queues in case there are multiple queues that is a queue for each classification or priority. Policing is measuring the incoming traffic and limiting it to a pre-configured value. If the incoming traffic is more than the pre-configured value, some packets are dropped. This happens at ingress. Dropping of packets happens at both ingress and egress. Once the traffic exceeds a pre-configured value, packets are dropped so that traffic is maintained below the limit. QDisk is short for queue discipline. QDisk is packet scheduling code that is attached to a network interface. A queue disk can drop, forward, queue, delay or reorder packets. 
Q-disc is also known as packet scheduler. There are Q-discs at both ingress and egress. At ingress, the kernel enqueues to the Q-disc packets received on the interface. At egress, the kernel decues from the Q-disc packets for transmission on the network interface. Classes Q-disc can have classes. Those Q-disc which have classes are classful QDIS and those which do not have classes are classless QDIS. The important thing about classes is that classes can be configured using the TC command. So for a classless QDIS, internal subdivisions can't be configured. The classless QDIS can accept data and only reschedule, delay, or drop packets. Now, classful QDisc has classes internal to the QDisc. A class can in turn have classes in it. So, a class has another class or a QDisc as the parent. There are leaf classes which do not have child classes. A leaf class has one QDisc which is responsible for sending data from the class. When a classful QDisc receives a packet, it has to decide which class the packet should be enqueued to. The QDisc does that using a filter. Filters are classifiers for determining the class for a packet. A filter contains a number of conditions which, if matched, select the target class. For each network interface, there is a root egress QDisc for outward traffic. For incoming traffic, there is an ingress QDisc. All QDisc and classes are assigned handles. They can be referred by these handles in TC commands. The handle is of the form m colon n, where m is the major number and n is the minor number. The handle for the root QDisc is 1 colon or 1 colon 0. The minor number for a QDisc is always 0. Classes have the same major number as the parent. The minor number for a class must be unique within a QDisc and its classes. The TC command is for managing traffic control settings. It has subcommands to add, change, replace, delete, and show QDisc classes and filters. For example, TC command TC minus S QDisc show devs eth0 on a server gave this output. The command is to show QDisc for device eth0 and as per the output, we have fq codel QDisc. fq is for fair queuing and codel is for control delay. fq codel is fair queuing with control delay. In fq codel, we have multiple FIFO queues and a hash function is used to dispatch packets to one of the queues. It was observed that packets get queued in routers for long periods, so newer packets just get stuck behind the older packets. This is called buffer bloat. When packets get stuck in queues, network latency increases and there is very undesirable network congestion between hosts. To get around buffer bloat, CODEL QDisc was made. CODEL stands for control delay. The head of the queue packet is observed for time it has spent in the queue. If it is more than a prefix value, say 5 milliseconds, the packet is dropped. That is, all packets older than 5 milliseconds are simply dropped. So the newer packets don't get stuck and network congestion is controlled. This is the active queue management AQM function provided by the CODEL queue disk. And we come to the end of this video. You can find all this information at https colon double slash bit dot ly slash tc hyphen command. This video is from Softprio, a channel for software related videos. Please subscribe to Softprio so that we can make more similar videos. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and stay safe.